We got Air Force on Friday and New Mexico on Sunday. And they, uh, they both beat us last year, so our guys should be hungry and ready to go. And, and uh, New Mexico is 44 in the country, so that's a, that's a great opportunity for us um, for the, in the national scheme of things, but also in, into uh, the, the standings for the Mountain West Conference. So both these matches are going to be critical for us, and we're, we're playing at home. And so uh, the guys are excited to go, and, and they're, they're both good teams. So we, we've got to play our best tennis. This is about what? Seniors. 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 And we haven't said enough, but it's about you two guys. Because this is it. You don't get this time back, guys. So we need to have a great week of practice. We need to have a great week of practice. We got Air Force on Friday. We got New Mexico on Sunday. But it's about you guys. We talked about your guys' legacy a little bit. What would you guys have accomplished in the short time that, that we've been together? We beat BYU for the first time in history. We got ranked for four weeks, four weeks in the top 75. We pull, we pull two wins out this weekend, I guarantee you we're back in there. Okay, but just for you seniors, I want to pull this out. Matt, your seventh in singles and all-time wins, wins category for Utah State. That's pretty good. And doubles, he's fourth. Fourth all-time. Let's have a round of applause for that. It ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. Marcus, 36 singles wins, man. He's 10th in, in program history fifth in doubles history and you're not done and you're not done so you guys have left your mark and it's not over guys but you guys i'm telling you i'm telling you this we got to do it the rest of the way has got to be for these guys okay we got to we got to send them out of this program on a really positive note and i'm sure you guys would love love to leave the conference love to leave this program with a ring on your finger so we got we can do it but it's got to happen this week if we characterize my assistant coach and i i'd say that we're both really demanding and and we expect a lot out of these guys. And, and for Marcus and, and Matt, the two guys on the team that didn't sign up for myself and my assistant coach, the fact that they bought in so well and have done everything we've asked them to do and, 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 even, and even gone beyond. It's been just an, an unbelievable, um, amazing two years with those guys. And, and they didn't sign up for this. So, they could have very easily been like, you know what, this is this is not what I was looking for in my college experience. But you know what, they just brought on whatever I asked them to do, and and they uh, they they're really really guys I'm gonna miss a lot. I think the one thing where they come in is that the guys all love them, they care about them, and and so when we talk about we're playing for the seniors, and this year is about the seniors, the guys their eyes light up and they're like, okay, I gotta I gotta work hard, I gotta do it for them, and that, that's been their that's been their role is that the guys want to play hard for them. They want to send them away from Utah State and with a really positive, um, lasting memory. The first thing is a standard of excellence. It has to lay that foundation. I mean, look at football. There's such a high standard now that the guys come in and they just follow that standard. And that was the first thing is that, hey, we got to have a standard of excellence. And those two seniors have set the bar high. And so now our freshmen and sophomores and the young guys, they look at that bar that's being set and they want to knock it off. And we encourage that. Man, that's a tough one. There's a lot of memories. I remember, I definitely remember a lot of uh, early morning conditioning sessions and uh, uh, lifting sessions. Some, uh, some of them are fun, you know. Uh, some, some leave a different memory, I guess. But uh, no, it's been, it's been good. Uh, definitely uh, taking out the Cougars this year in our first match down at BYU. That was a, that was a big one. And, Oh, there are just so many, and but I just remember, you know, the ones with my teammates and uh, celebrating. And Matt, we we play football every weekend, and uh, just you know, we have a mixture of international guys and American kids, so he understands the football and how big it is. And and uh, my assistant played uh, college, played quarterback in college and in high school, and so we have some uh, epic battles, but. Uh, you know, in the fall this year, I mean, he laid out for almost every pass I threw to him. If I threw it 10 yards away, he still laid out. Um, you know, he's just the ultimate competitor. And that's the thing I'm going to miss about him the most and, and I love about him is that I could put him in any situation and he's going to compete as hard as he possibly can. And that's something that I've been preaching since day one. So to have a kid come in and, and to compete as hard as I like the guys to, I love that about him. And I, and I love the competitiveness in football. I mean, he has a black eye right now from one of the games we play because he get nailed in the head. But that's just that's just who he is. And, and uh, you know, if he's competitive in life, uh, if he brings that same competitiveness to his life, he's going to be really successful.
I'm gonna miss, wow. I'm gonna definitely miss um, all my teammates. You know, they're all kind of got eight brothers out here. Uh, and just, you know, the day in, day out, uh, hanging out, like practicing and all, like I said, those early morning sessions, you know, everything we did, we did it together. So definitely gonna miss those, gonna miss the coaches, fans playing, miss everything. But I think I've uh, definitely had a good time here in my four years. It's gone by fast. One of them is when we played Marquette in Boise last year. We clinched at four three. Uh, it was special because that's the only match I've played when I've been the last man on the court and it's been tied. Uh, but the best memory would probably be BYU this year to go down there get that 4-3 win. We were close last year, we lost 4-3, but this year we took it and it was an amazing feeling. All the hard work we did, put down, felt like it was worth it. I've been on Marcus's court almost the whole year and I just, I'm gonna miss the, the connection that we have when he plays. You know, when he wins points, the, the fist pump over, you know, showing me the, the passionate play, you know, and then I can give it back to him. And there's, there's, that's a special connection for a coach is when a, when a kid is playing with a lot of passion and they do something well and they give you a big fist pump and you're like, yeah, that's awesome. And you can give the, that passionate play right back to them. And, and that's kind of what I like about tennis is the start and stop, is that little interaction in between the points. And, and then nothing's been more special than when he wins a point, he's overjoyed, I'm overjoyed. And, and there's that kind of that bond that we've created. And, and I hope to keep it going and not, not just and just to keep it, keep it going into the Mountain West Tournament and to leave him where he says, man, this was an unbelievable experience. I'm glad I stuck it out. And you know what? He'll, he'll end up uh, remembering these days the rest of his life. Definitely my new family I have here. Uh, we're all like a big family on the team. Uh, it's going to be hard to not see these guys every day. It's going to be weird not coming to practice and go to war with these guys every day. So that's definitely what I'm going to miss the most. I'm going to miss him, man. I'm going to miss those guys a lot. You know, and it'll be weird not to have seniors next year because that's something we say all the time is we're playing for the seniors. So I'm going to have to find something else we're playing for. But but I'll tell you what, if you ask every single guy on the team, like, do you love these guys? Will you will you give your all for these guys? Will you run through a brick wall for these guys? It's an absolute yes. And um, that's really cool. That's really cool to have players on the team that the guys love and that they'll do anything for. And um, it's the same thing for, for me as a coach, man, to ask the guys to give their all. And then and to ask them, hey, guys, how much does this mean to you? And then to go out and show me how much it means to them is really important. So I'm going to miss that. But I'll, their legacy is going to be live on. And we still got a lot of season left to play. So it's just going to keep going. And, and hopefully at the end of April, we're, uh, we're sniffing the, the dance, the NCAA tournament, which will be fun. Uh, I'm coming back for another semester, finishing up school here. I'm uh, going to help out a little bit with the program when the coach needs me. Uh, after that, I will see what happens. Probably moving back home to Sweden and start a career myself with tennis or sports somehow. Uh, I'm going to come back to school uh, next semester uh, in the fall and finish up, and then we'll see, uh, see where it goes from there. Definitely be here at all the matches, cheering them on. So.